Ooh. Yeah, we're just waiting to get this started. Yeah. <laughs> Last match for Austin to cast tonight. Thank you, sir, very much. Oh, thanks for having me. I look forward to casting even more Daywalkers as time goes on. Let's give a shout out to the viewers. We have nine of them right now. Thank you so much for viewing the stream. Hope the tournament has been enjoyable. Uh, should be a very interesting final now that STN is there. Uh, one of these two players will be there. So, yeah, good times ahead. Let's go with uh, Austin top, Asian Vitality bottom. Okay, so at the top right position, we have our pink Terran player, and it's our Soy Pop Tart who took game number one. And in the bottom left, our green Zerg. His name is Yip. <laughs> yip. Yip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Soy Pop Tart's a pretty standard Terran. Uh, not too much shady business going for him unless he's down a game uh i don't know if you remember uh, we casted him when he lost the game and he tried like a proxy racks or something like that mm -hmm. and uh tried some shenanigans but other than that he's pretty standard when it comes to his builds yeah yep i i've never seen him really i don't think i've casted him or seen him in our bracket well he's, he's gone pretty far i mean he was able to take down a wee legend so that's no small feat yep so yeah, I, I suspect he's a very good Zerg, and um, we're, we're in for a good one. Another TVZ for us. Yeah, I mean, TVP and TVZ, there's been no shortage of Terran players tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Nip is just happy that he's being casted. <laughs> All right, good. <coughs> so you know what? Because he said that, we're going to pick on him a lot tonight. We're just going to look at his builds and... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> just gonna scrutinize the crap out of you. Yeah, we're just gonna scrutinize it. 15 hatch. 15 hatch. What? No, I'm just kidding. 15 hatch is really safe on daybreak. I mean, barring any shenanigans for, um, from, like, a player, like, proxies or anything, 15 hatch is so nice just because of how far this rush distance is. I am your fan, too. Yep, I am. <laughs> I, I might steal this build. <laughs> yeah, I've heard ZVT can be a bit of an annoying matchup for some players when they... Switch, you mean switch races or something like that? I think TVZ is a very interesting matchup in general, just because... Yeah? Like, anything up to the late game, more, it's just like power units over and over again. If you have like anything cool uh, in the mid game or whatnot, it's just, it's refreshing, I think. Um, when, what STN did to Augment, that was really cool. I mean, not not the uh, early pool, but the, the second push, I think. With Roaches, Banelings, and Lings, that was pretty interesting to see. Um, Lol goes down from Pop Tart. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Either do we. But he's getting two gases. Uh, I forgot to check. Oh! <laughs> His barracks was slightly off. No scouting yet. Whoa. No scouting no yet scout? for uh, Pop Tart. And no, not really any scouting. I mean, he does know that the natural is down for Pop Tart. Yeah. Uh, yep. yep, knows the natural's down, but that's about it. Yep, yep, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect right now out of either of our players. We see Yip going for, I don't know, just a, a fast expand, no tank structure besides that spawning pool, so a lot is up in the air right now. Pop Tart going reactor Hellion, but with two gas, it tells me either he's going to tech his bio really quickly, or he may even go mech. I'd, I'd really like to see it, like I said before, but um, we're still... A couple seconds away before we find out what Pop Tart's gonna go down as far as his path. Um, yep, the four queen opening. Three queen opening, sorry. Or four? Where's the fourth one? Where are you? <laughs> oh, there we go. So, just spreading that creep. And SCV is going to spot the third Ling, not the third hatchery. So, Pop Tart's just gonna go and try to scout. These queens will handle. That 
Oh, here we go. One, one, one from Pop Tart. So he's gonna go Hellion Marauder. Or no, sorry, Hellion Banshee. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what he puts down on the uh, starport here, because uh, he is researching stem, so oh, he cannot whoa, lift whoa. his barracks. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, he can't lift his barracks because he's researching stem. So uh, we'll see what he does with the starport. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, I'm just going to say a little funny story here. Uh, that uh, when I, I when I played, I was mostly in bronze. Okay, I don't ladder, so I'm very terrible. And uh, I remember one game in, in particular where I just blindly went like mass vikings against a zerg player just to see what would happen and i kid you not he he went fast corruptors and i won the game <laughs> wait uh what league are you still not laddering or is hey, this was this was a long time ago this was probably over a year and a half ago that this game happened and uh yeah i kid you not it was on remember the the map um that really funky uh, four-player map they added a long time ago. I forget, I forget the name now, but um. Metalopolis. No, no, no. It was. Um, Who lost ravine? No, it was a. Uh, uh, peaks. Something peaks. Typhon peaks. Typhon peaks. Yes, it was that map. Oh God. That yes. I go. I swear to God, I go mass Vikings. He goes fast corruptors, and I end up winning the game. <laughs> I just blindly went like all air. <laughs> against the Zerg. <laughs> because Corruptors can't shoot down, and once you landed your Vikings, that's right. basically game over. Yeah, it I was game over. Back when I, in my bronze days, about a year ago, I would just go massive Void Rays as a Protoss, and that, that pretty much got me to like rank top 25 bronze, and then when I actually started to foregate, that's what got me into silver, and since then I've learned more macro-oriented builds. It's actually funny you mentioned that too, the Diet. When I was still Terran, I... Terran and Bronze League, I actually mass Vikings as well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a fun build because they land. You know, you can run right over to the mineral line and land them and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Oh, these Hellions get surrounded and goodbye. But, um, I figured out what that star portal was for. It's for that early Viking. It's going to take out any, um, any sort of overlords that are trying to scout. Really diminishing, uh, diminishing the um, scouting that our Zerg player could do. I mean, Daybreak is such a nice map for placing overlords on those little um, high ground boxes. We have like um, two near towards the towers. There's one right behind the natural. It's really nice for Zerg, but Pop Tart being really smart just taking them out. So I like that a lot. Yeah, I like uh, Yip's creep spread as well. He's he's got a lot oh, of creep yeah. dimmers right now in the middle of the map, and five of them that haven't been uh, expanded yet. So he's really yeah. in good shape in that regard. Yep. Um, oh, here we go. Pop Tart's gonna try and move out really quickly. Ling will scout it from the tower, so Yip can um, respond accordingly. It seems like. He's getting bailing speed and festers, uh, those passage glands and burrs, though. Yeah, we've seen a good number of, so, well, we've seen STN a couple times tonight. He, he, as I've said before, doesn't really go in festers in any of his matchups, so it's it's kind of, uh... He doesn't let it get to the fester play. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Eamp is now going for his pathogen glands and festers, like you said, so it's pretty interesting to be seeing some investors coming out. But mm. I don't know if uh, if he's not gonna live to see that day because Pop Tart just oh, up geez, needs that's to split though. Oh. Wow. oh my gosh! And there go there goes all of that. But um, wow, Rex Mon, Rex Mon, our observer leaves the game. But wow, that was. I mean, I think Pop Tart came up a little too far up that ramp because those banelings flanked even without speed and yeah. so it was just there were so many of them so quick yeah so not enough room for pop charts to split for <laughs> one and then this, oh geez here we go again with a little poke it looks like these units will get taken out a little split but still those links take out split marines pretty quickly too um Four investors on their way out also, there's uh, currently one on the field. Yeah. So he's got to be careful still, but I mean, 
Yeah, Pop-Tarts just screaming units, I feel like if Yip just had a bunch of lings outside of the natural taking out each rally unit. Good fungal. Oh yeah, there we go. That's sick. And he could take out these medevacs too if he really wanted to. But right now, Pop-Tart is doing a lot of damage, forcing a lot of units out of the Zerg player. In a spot where you really don't want to. He's yeah, he's got a good oh. number of medevacs right now. He's got a nice Bioforce streaming out across the map. I'm saying the, the population is, is reasonably close in terms of size. So I, I definitely think that uh, Soy Pop-Tart going forward has the advantage. Yip is getting his Hive. If he's able to get his... Uh, Spire up and then greater spire. He can definitely take the game because of how overpowered that composition is. But I don't know if he'll be able to or not. Getting a good fungal there though. That, that's that's what he needs in this game right that's now. That's a good fungal. We'll he to chain him. fungal those medevacs too. That oh, he, he had a bunch of infested turns out and oh no, you're safe. So pops are. I feel like um, we'll be headed up against an ultralist. I mean, typically if you see your oh jeez, these infestors are gonna get hit. Jeez, oh. oh no. And Pop Tart does have rain in that match. Yeah, like you said, though, the, the Ultra is definitely an option here. Groove Arts oh, would be a little bit more annoying to tech up to. And uh, uh, if he's able to survive, though, like you said. Uh, oh my gosh, we have 21 band links in, in production. I mean. Already splitting his marines, but here we go. Those banlings should clean it up. Sh should, should. Sh oh man, Pop Tart's still hanging in there with a couple of aliens and a that was six some marines. Six and he's got a huge amount of reinforcements streaming out across the map. Yeah, Pop Tart. I mean, I mean, I would be content to see him put down. <laughs> oh <laughs> god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm bad though. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh man. Oh wow. Yep was able to upset Elite Legend. Now he's, he loses to Soy Pop Tart in what looks like a dominant 2 0 fashion. We're gonna have yeah. TVZ finals. A lot of uh, TVZs and DVBs tonight. Between two Daywalker uh, normals, I mean, STN, he's shown up a lot. But Pop Tart, this is really strong play out of him. Just Pushing Yip all the way to the brink, and he's just going to A move through this main to the third as well and win this game. Yeah, there are seven ultras on the way, but eight even, but I think it's too little too late at this point. So I bumped up to Archers, there's too much to fall back on. Yeah. Only eight. one mining base left. I mean, unless Yip can oh. just roll out across the map and win the game directly with the ultras, which you won't be so able to do. Later. This is such a creative build from Pop Tart. I mean, if you check out his base right now, he's only doing this off of six production structures. Four for barracks. Let's one just look at the map. I mean, it's all ink streaming out. Oh yeah. my gosh. He, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yip ran those drones out from the third base, and literally they just walked single file into marine fire. <laughs> yep, yeah, so. Here are these ultras, they're gonna try and take on these units and probably will clean them up. I mean, barring any uh, like crazy shenanigans or, I don't know, a single banshee. But, <laughs> well, how the ultras here? <laughs> wild <laughs> ultras appear, and yeah, that's gonna stop Pop Tart for a little bit, but this. Oh, this game has gone way, that, way out of hands right now. Yeah, so they're, uh, Sword Pop Tart already starting to add on some Marauders, and that'll pretty much win it for them. Yeah, yeah, so, um, the main is gone. The natural is about to be completely gone. We have a new home for Yip in the top left of Daybreak, but these medevacs do scout it, and, whoa, Yip cannot fungal <laughs> up to hit those <laughs> medevacs, so... Those medevacs are filled with units right now. Just giving a <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this game is pretty much over. I mean, Potter just needs to finish it off, really. Yes, in, in uh, Wings of Liberty, we still have the uh, Baneling uh, Infested Terran balls. Whereas in Hots, you have the just the regular Infested Terran springing out.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't Vungo a projectile also on Hots? Yeah, for the, the Fungo is, it rolls across the ground, it's so nice, it's so nice to look at. Pretty cool. Well, yeah, because uh, Fungo always just appeared out of nowhere, I mean, it's kinda, yeah. it didn't really make sense. Tank fire does the same thing. Yeah, it gives a chance for players to split their units or whatnot, but still, it's just so quick, it's got such a sick range that, I mean, you can try, but still, it's not that easy. Asia's um, not feeling too good talking about that. <laughs> no, I mean, I love Fungal. Like, I have no better feeling to it. I'm a Zerg player, I love the fact that it's quick, it's got a range of 10, all of that. That's good. Um, yeah, Pop-Tart is just going to... Uh, <laughs> go into that Starport play. He's getting Cloak and Banshees. So basically, anything that Yip can't handle right now. Yeah, this is. I mean, Yip is just being a little, a little on the stubborn side and not GGing, I and mean, he knows the game's over. Oh, but here we go. Pop Tart's just going to finish this. Um, nice little micro dancing, dancing back and forth. I would like to see Pop Tart actually dance. I'm sorry. Ooh, nice fungal there. Yep, very nice fungal. But. Yeah, this game was over a couple minutes ago, but Nip decided just to hold on with those ultras dead. 18 supply to 133. There's the dance. There's the dancing, there we go, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Huh. Uh, I definitely agree with what Yip said. I mean, he was holding a lot of money, didn't make a single macro hatch. Alright, well there's our GG, we have our finals and we